ugly teacher hiking. I hike it so you don't have to. Hey, this is Chris with Ugly Teacher Hiking. Could this be the next stove that we use on all our camping trips? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Let's talk about it. Also remember, I do this so you don't have to. All right, let's take a look at this. The Boundless Voyage Titanium Alcohol Stove with Stand. Uh, bought this over the summer. I paid about $36 for this, give or take. I'll put the, what ex actually it is on uh, Amazon in a moment. Comes with a stand and the alcohol stove itself. I haven't had an opportunity even to look at it yet or use it, let's put it that way. Uh, it has the typical warnings and everything and uh, stats on here. This is supposed to be a fairly light, lightweight stove. Balance Voyage seems to make some pretty good stuff. So it comes in this little bag. Uh, they all come in these little bags. They're kind of, in my mind, a little useless, but at least it's a bag because you can't carry the box everywhere. So we take this apart. So here's the actual stove itself, or the stand. This is the stand, and with the inside here is the actual stove. Small, comes with a snuffer. So let's look at the actual stove itself first, and then we'll look at the stand individually. We look at this, the snuffer fits in there securely on top. We can look on the inside here. That's where you pour the alcohol or denatured alcohol or the yellow heat. You have all the holes on top where the jet should come out once you're burning it. It's fairly light on its own. So if we look on our scale, 1.4 ounces with the lid, 1.9 ounces, and then since we have looked at this, let's just weigh this and then we'll look at this real quick. The stand itself is 1.9 ounces, stand itself is 1.9 ounces. Now we did a quick little peruse of the stove. Let's do it again. So this is a Boundless Bullet Voyage Titanium. Lid pops off, pops on, pretty straightforward. This little arm snuffs it out, which is pretty neat. Nothing too descriptive about it. It's pretty straightforward. It's just a titanium alcohol stove. Lots of little holes on top. So the proof will be when we try to boil some water and make a cup of tea in a little bit. The stand itself. Supposedly you can uh, put wood in here to cut, to boil water or whatever. Uh, to me, it's a little too small for that, but in a pinch, I guess you could. Pretty straightforward, not too complex. The legs are riveted on. Which are pretty interesting. So with the stove itself, we take the lid off, pops in like that. And with the legs compressed, put it in there, snuff out something, open the legs. 
when you pull out the snuffer, gotta make sure you come out like that because now it's blocked. But you should have like a cup or something on top. Now with my Tokes 550 titanium mug on top. I can still get this out. Real easy, real easy. It's not an issue. Get out real easy, no real issues. Take it off like that. Now with this, take our lid off. We can take our cup, our stove, fold this in. Fold the legs in. And this is a great thing about this. It fits in there. That was always my biggest complaint with alcohol stoves. They don't usually fit in the cups that you want to use them in. So, as you can see too, there's a little lip right there. Now if I try to put it on like this, it doesn't. Flip the lid over. Now it doesn't stay secure, but with the toques, you get one of these little pouches. Perfect. Perfect. Wish I could fit the fuel in there. Fuel I use is about four ounces of the heat. I don't know where I would put this. I guess I would store it separately, but at least I can keep my cup and the stove in one thing. All right, let's look at dimensions. Amazon really has some odd numbers on their website for this, which to me, it doesn't make much sense, but Maybe it's the shipping size because they say the height here is 3.2 inches or 8.13 centimeters. It's a little more than three, so it's about 3.2 inches or 8.13 centimeters. Now, the diameter of this is about the same. It's about the same as the height. Now, if you open this up, it really pops it out. They're saying it's 5.6. Well, okay. The measurements is with it open. Measurements is with it open on the website, which is 5.6 width and length at 14.22 centimeters. So they also had on the website of weight of 3.7 ounces or 107 grams. And we just weighed that a couple minutes ago. We know that's a little off. So in a moment, we're going to go out and see if we can make some tea with this. We'll see how long it takes and we'll work from there. Hope you guys are enjoying this up to this point. If you are, please click like and subscribe, add comments, what else you want to know about the stove or other stoves, or what do you want to compare stoves to. Great to have a head-to-head -head competition with some of these stoves because I know a lot of people actually really like the alcohol stoves. All right, let's go out and try to boil some water. All right, so we made our way outside. Now, I just discovered this this morning that this actually fits into this Tokes 550 mug. So, this could be actually pretty interesting. I've been using a BRS stove or MSR pocket rocket for a long time now. So, I also have uh, other stoves that work very well. So here's our stove. It's pretty easy to open up. 
not complex. Now remember, when you're dealing with alcohol, always make certain that you do not refill this while it's hot. Sometimes it takes a minute for it to get cooking. So when we do this, we're just gonna put enough fuel in there, I think, to get this bad boy going. That's about it. I got this at a dollar store. It's for, um, basically for your, like liquids when you're going on a trip or something, like shampoo or something along those lines. So it seems to work. I haven't had any trouble with leakage or anything yet so far, so, and I've had it in there quite a long time. Now, I'm gonna use my soda lighter. Sometimes it's a little finicky. Like I said, it's a little finicky. Ooh, hopefully you heard that little pop. Take a second for it to bloom. I don't know if you can see that. Let's get a little further. It's coming up. Ooh. Now I found heat works the best for this stuff. We'll give that a second to warm up. I'm off the side pouring me some water for tea. We're gonna fill up about halfway our Tox 550 mug. About 300 milliliters. Just a little cup of tea. So we're just waiting for it to boil. Now it's supposed to be a windshield on that. I don't know how much, I can see it blowing and we're in the courtyard of my apartment community. So there shouldn't be much blowing around here. But I would have to probably use a wind guard which is gonna create more stuff we're gonna to have to get for this. We're about a minute in right now. I can still see there's alcohol in there. Now recovery of the alcohol is going to be a problem. So I'm going to come back to you in a minute after we get a little more uh, boil time going. All right, we're about three minutes, 45 seconds in. And a couple of things I figured out. It doesn't have enough of a windscreen. There definitely needs to be a windscreen it's on the verge of boiling in a minute uh, also you gotta watch out for the back of your hands when you go over to adjust things because i took off most of the hair on the back of my hand a minute ago so we're going to give it another minute to see if we can get it to a boil and then we'll snuff it out with the snuffer we're at a little more than five and a half minutes and it is not come to a boil yet. It looks like we're about to run out of fuel. It's really hoping to get to use a snuffer on this. It is boiling on the or bubbling up on the inside. So let's give it another 20 seconds and then we're gonna pull uh, the snuffer on it just to get to use it. A couple of things I'm noticing, I'm still not sold on alcohol stoves. Alcohol stoves are great. I have several of them. I enjoy playing around with them and maybe on little hikes. Big hikes where I have to really boil water and move. I probably wouldn't use an alcohol stove. It takes too long. They're real nice, but yeah, alcohol stoves are the way to go. Also, there are a lot of fire bans and you can't use open flame like this in fire ban areas. 
so I can use this if I went to a park or something along those lines, uh, camping where there's fire bands. It happens a lot on the west coast, not so much on the east coast, but it does happen, especially in uh, drier seasons. So it looks like, let's use the, I think we're just warm enough to make some tea. Looks like we're almost out of fuel. So I want to snuff this out. Let's see, we can do this. All right, wow, that worked very well. Okay, I actually like that. It worked very well. All right, let's plop a tea bag in there. Let's put a little Splenda. Let's give that a moment. Final thoughts, love my Tokes titanium cup. There was a lot of flare ups. It went up the side of the cup. I'm really surprised I can touch this sides. Put that off to the side for now. Yeah, that's very warm. The legs aren't warm. I still don't know if I would trust it too much. With a windscreen, everything would be hot. So that's warm. Oh, it looks like the fuel just got sucked up the last second. Actually pretty interesting. Tea's getting done. Overall, cool little thing. $35 US, $36. I don't know. I like it. I'll use it like for short hikes or whatever. Would I take it long distance camping? Probably not. I'll do my BRS or a pocket rocket or a soda stove. All right, so what we learned today is it's a great little stove, especially if you need one, fits in this Tokes Titanium 550 Ultralight Mug. Would I get it again? I don't know. It's a great novelty item. I don't think I'll get my use out of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please click like, subscribe. Remember, I do this so you don't have to. I hike it so you don't have to. I review it so you don't have to. I drink this great tea so you don't have to. Unless you want to. Have a great day. All right, so here's an afterthought. After I came back to the apartment to finalize our video, I figured, hey, maybe we could fit a mini bic in the top, which makes this even a better stove. So as I'm getting into this, I'm just finding more and more different ways to do with this stove. Now I'm thinking we can get a bottle in here right next to the bic lighter. Happy a funky shaped bottle, but it's definitely an option for this. It's really raising the stock on this now. So as in that, I'm going through this, I'm liking this more and more. So remember the Boundless Voyage and the Tokes Titanium 550 Ultra Light. Great combination. Please click like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, please write them down. Have a great day.